What's up LEGO Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for another episode of building the second battle of Geonosis and LEGO. There was no update last week, I was just too sick, I couldn't get one out. But this week I'm feeling a lot better and I was able to get some good building done as well as some great parts that are much needed for this mock, particularly those wedge plates. I know I was talking a lot about them last week. They are very integral to what I want to do with the mock, so it'll be nice to get those. All in all, should be a great episode. If you guys are excited to finally see some more Geonosis content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future content. All that being said, let's get on with the building. I'm gonna be starting out this week by working on some more terrain stuff. I want to get a large portion of this terrain finished. I got a bunch of the plate that I was waiting for in from BrickLink and so I'll be able to fill in a lot of those gaps that I had from putting down all the tile. This main part may look pretty flat but that's where the anti-vehicle cannon is going to go so as of right now you know until I do a little bit more planning and maybe put the anti-vehicle cannon down I don't want to put too many dips or valleys or hills or anything like that just because I want to be able to place the anti-vehicle cannons in a secure location without them looking like they're you know one of their legs is stuck in a giant in a in a pit or something. I got a juicy haul to show you guys today. Now, some of this stuff is not pertinent for this update. I'm gonna throw that over there, Kidonomoidia stuff, but I did get some good parts in for this mock, namely these wedge plates. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last update, I was complaining about how I was constantly running out of these. So I got a bunch of those three by threes in, two by threes, even a couple three by threes and stuff. So I should have enough variation to be able to do what I want to do with the mock. And I got some more filler brick in here with some dark bluish gray brick, more filler brick here, and then some larger, taller slopes. These will be used for the little mountain area that's gonna go right there. So this is what I was able to get done on that time lapse. This entire middle area is mostly finished. I put a lot more tile than plate here because um, this is where the first anti-vehicle cannon is going to go, so I figured I don't really need a lot of plate underneath there. And I have much more tile than plate, so I'm trying to save what plate I can and, you know, disperse it and spread it out through the mock a little bit more. I did throw in a couple more patches of the medium nougat. I love how the medium nougat looks in contrast with the dark orange. Now that I've got those slopes in, I can continue this line of this little ridge thing right here it's going to come along this direction come over here i'm still not sure what shape it's going to take i feel like i kind of just have to build and see as i go that's basically what's been working the best and then you know i'll continue it back up here i'm not sure if i'm going to have it run the entire length like this and have like two layers you know we'll have this bottom layer then this top layer or if i'll run it to like right here and then just basically pretend like it's running off the uh, edge of the mock so that way this entire area right here will be one plate taller than the terrain. I'm not sure if that makes sense. You guys will see, you know, as I build, uh, you guys will see better as I start to, as I continue building. That's pretty much all I wanted to update you on though. So now I'm gonna get back to building. All right, here is the last update for the week. So I just got done streaming and I got a lot of this tiled and plated off. You can see, I think when I started the week, I was about right here, had that little time lapse here and then I was able to get all this done on stream, which was good. Got a lot of work done. Um, it's nice to see it coming together. You know, I like the shape that I'm getting with this ridge of plate. I also like the look of these medium nougat patches. I do think I need some more sprinkled in, kind of like this area. I've got a lot back here and over there, but nothing right here. I did also get some more work done along this back area, getting that ridge. Still trying to work on the right shape and just, you know, trying to find something that looks natural, which can be tough because some of these wedge plates aren't really lining up super well. But that's just something I'm gonna need to continue to play with and, you know, tweak. I got some more work done 
on the back over here as well. This area is just going to be square. I just put a couple rows of plate because I'm actually going to be build, building a mountain back there. So probably next week I'm going to get more into what that's going to look like. But for now, I just decided to go with that plate. I didn't want to get too much done this week. You know, I wanted to make sure I had some stuff left for next week because I'm pretty much out of plate and tile. So I'm going to need to get an order in. So it'll be nice to have something to work on while I wait on. Now, the reason I brought this guy out is because I was thinking to myself, I don't like how flat this part right here looks, but I'm going to be having one cannon right here and then one cannon right there. So obviously I can have like little humps, little valleys, little hills, but I can't have anything too big because it'll get in the way of these. And so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about maybe creating some more of these things to stick right here, maybe right there, right there. I don't know. So if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know down below in the comments. That pretty much wraps up everything for this week. I'm pretty happy with how this section looks. I still don't like this ridge. I know I keep talking about it, keep coming back to it, but I think my biggest problem I'm having is just connecting two pieces like this. I don't like how there's a stud on the end right here. It just creates kind of this weird little flat section before you go into the next angle. I've been having that problem a bunch on the back, kind of where I was showing you guys. So I'm going to try, you know, sit down maybe this next episode and see if I can figure out something that looks better. All that being said, it's time to hit the outro. Hope you guys enjoyed this week of building Geonosis in Lego. It was nice to be back on track, back building. Um, I'm interested to figure out that problem I was having with the wedge plate ridge. Just annoying, I don't like how it looks. I'll figure something out. Hopefully, you know, next update, some, th some things will fall into place. Um, I'm also gonna be, I'm also gonna be doing a lot more work on the anti-vehicle cannon. Now that a lot of the terrain's down, I feel like it's definitely time to start focusing more on that. That way I can get both the cannons finished and how I like by the time the mock's done. That way I don't finish the mock and you know still have to wait for those vehicles. So next week will probably be a will probably be a vehicle heavy week, especially considering I didn't do any vehicle stuff this week. All that being said, don't forget to let me know what you guys thought about this update down below in the comments. I will catch you guys next time, but until then, happy building.